Hey, it's John Tech Lock, and I'm here to show you every single trick that I know to make your computer faster. Now, these tricks are different from the videos that I have um, currently on my YouTube channel. Um, they require you to use your registry uh, to edit it, and um, some of these uh, tweaks and tricks are just, you know, uh, to download some programs, and the links will be in my description. Now, um, the first thing that you would want to download is a, like an anti-spyware program such as AdAware or SpyBot Search and Destroy and um, even Microsoft Windows Defender that works great um, we can also uh, you can also um, you know you know we all know the trick go to run MS config and um, disable all your startup buttons and um, you know just use the startup items that you want um, now I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to show you uh, the registry tweaks that I learned and that I knew, but I just never showed anyone. Now, um, the first trick uh, everyone probably knows, it's um, about the menu show delay. I'm going to show it anyway. So, first go to start, then click run, and then um, type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T to open up the registry editor. Alright, so that's here. Now, um, what you're going to do is go to H key current user and expand that. Uh, then go to control panel, then expand that, and then go to desktop. And um, you just click that. And then we're going to look for menu show delay here, which is right there. On default, you have it set on 400. Set that to either 0 or 100 or, you know, 150. That's what I have it as 150. Um, we're going to unclip everything now. Alright, now the second trick is, um, excuse me, just looking at my notes. Alright, so the second trick is um, going to H key local machine and then going to system and then current control set and expand that. Then current version. Sorry, control. And then current version. File system. My bad. File system. Sorry, man. I, I I'm I'm like stoned or something. All right. So we're gonna right click uh, file system, and we're gonna go to new. And what we're going to add is a, a D word value. All right. So we'll add the D word value. And uh, we're going to type in disable NTFS last A axis ACESS update. And then you hit enter. Just like so. And then you're going to double click that. And we're going to set the value to 1. All right. Now, um, what we're going to do is go to H key current user, then go to software. Now, we're going to look for Microsoft. and then look for current version that some of us have current version some of us don't have current version now uh, those who don't have current version is because you're in service pack 3 those who do have current version are in service pack 2 so you're gonna go to current version there then you're gonna expand Explorer now you're gonna create a new D word value and you're gonna call it desktop process D E S K T O P P R O C E S S. And then you're going to double click that and set the value data to 1. Alright. Now we're going to go to. Um, now we're going to go to H key. Um, we're going to go to H key current user. And then we're going to expand control panel. And then we're going to click the desktop. 
Now we're going to double click the auto end tasks, which is right here, and we're going to set that to 1. Now uh, this causes all of the components of the Explorer to run in one process. So that makes your computer a lot faster. Now um, there is a uh, there is a glitch in uh, some people some people's computers. Uh, you have to have at least a Pentium processor and 16 mega megabytes of physical memory, which is RAM. And um, I'm pretty sure that's not a problem anymore to most people. Well, it shouldn't be a problem if you if it is a problem then I don't know what to say. Now we're going to go to H key local machine then expand system and expand current control set and then click control and then we're going to double click wait to kill service and we're going to change the value to 2000. This optimizes the time that it will take for Windows services to close when the system is set to shut down. Alright, so click OK on that and then we're going to unclip everything. Uh, now what we're going to do is close registry editor and uh, we're going to go to the recycle bin and we're going to right click that and go to properties and make sure that it's no more than 10% I mean if you got a hundred percent then that's just a problem just set it to 10 10 percent that's decent alright cool so just click apply then click OK now um, we're gonna what we're gonna do now is ensure that DMA is in use um, so we're gonna go to we're gonna go to start then right click my computer and then click properties now um, there's an easier way to do this do this which is on your keyboard press the start button and then pause break um, that automatically opens up the display the system properties display bar and what we're gonna do is go to the hardware tab and click device manager alright so once device manager fully uh, opens up what we're gonna do is expand the IDE ATA slash Atopi controllers a tap I, I don't know how to say it but we're gonna double click the primary IDE channel and so we're gonna wait for that to open up alright so that's the properties right here and um, what we're gonna do is go to uh, advanced settings and on the device here transfer mode make sure that the DMA is available so click DMA if available and then make that DMA if available too now only if it's available it's gonna show coming up now device 0 is your primary hard drive which is your hard drive 1 which is located on local disk C device 1 is if you have it when you open up your con computer and you have an extra IDE expansion unit so you basically have two hard drives hooked up to one IDE controller that makes a device 1 that usually isn't controlled by DMA instead it's con controlled by PIO which makes it slightly slower but there is a huge impact when it comes to cache and uh, we all know what cache is so uh, that's all there is to know and uh, now and obviously there's you know UC cleaner you know get rid of all that junk if you have a registry booter registry cleaner whatever you have advanced system care is great uh, you can download that and um, you can also download something called I believe let's see easy cleaner easy cleaner that the link will be in my description uh, sorry for this really long video it's about 10 minutes and um, please subscribe and I'll see you next time uh, so just please add a add a comment and rate and uh, don't forget to subscribe please subscribe alright thanks for watching